hey there how's it going so basically this is one of the uh, videos uh, that i making about um, how to use some spark transformation method and action method so in this video i'll be um showing you how to uh, work with a a, a rejects uh, replace method in spark so um in some cases you have a data that you want to clean and maybe there are some character that you want to replace with uh, another character with a different character so uh, you may want to use a reject replace to uh, sort that one out so that is the purpose of this video so without further ado let's get into it all right um i've got this data frame here and uh, what i want to do is uh, use uh, uh, this data frame uh, i'm going to be removing this uh, uh, curly braces here and this uh, the last curly braces as well from the uh, um, from the records so um I will define a new data frame as um, df2 uh, equal to df dot. Um, so I'm going to use with columns and uh, um, the column I'm going to work with is the member column. So it's going to be this column. So um, so a member, and uh, then I will use a uh, reject uh, replace uh, method. So in, inside the method, I have to select the member column. Um, so member column. So uh, so inside the reject replace right, we selected the member column then we the next thing is the pattern so the pattern is um so i have to use uh, a double uh, backslash so um then select the cards i want to escape so the reason i'm using double backslash is uh, uh because um the, there is two level when you uh, try to execute this uh, this kind of application and the first one is the compiler and the second one is the, uh, the runtime level so so when the data is uh, at uh, when the application is being processed it, one of the backslashes is, is removed and at runtime so uh, the remaining uh, backslash will be the escape uh, uh, backslash that we escape the character so i think that's the reason for that double backslash okay moving on um so uh, i want to replace this with uh, let's say um a, a bucket so that will be open square bracket and uh, square square bracket I think. yeah and uh, so I think that is it so the next thing is I want to re replace the last one as well so I'll use dots with column okay remember then we just replace um, so select column which is member and uh, the pattern is going to be um, uh, the uh, crossing curly braces then crossing square bracket so and then I write df2 the show 
um, truncate it gets a false. false. Yeah, so I can now run the application. Okay, now we've got um, we've got the output. So as you can see here, we've got um, this uh, the uh, curly braces, right? Um, but in the second data frame, they have been replaced by the uh, bracket, right? The square brackets. So um, that is how you can use uh, we just replace method in Spark. So yeah, I think that is uh, that's just what I want to show in this video, right? Um, so thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and leave a comment. More videos like this will be coming. So don't forget to stay tuned. Right? Thank you once again for watching, and have a lovely day. Bye.